You want Taco Bell, but you can't stand the trips to the bathroom after? Stay tuned, I'll show you how to make it at home. All right. Today, we're gonna make some crunch wrap brisket Dorito Supreme. Nah, that's too long. We're, we're making our version of Taco Bell with Doritos brisket and homemade tortillas. If that doesn't get you interested, I don't know what does. Anyway, if you guys didn't catch our last video, we made pulled pork tacos and we used this dough to make flour tortillas. So if you want to find out how to make this, we'll have the link in the description. Jump on over to that video and then catch us back here and we'll leave off where we left off. That did not sound right, but anyway, Let's get to it. Like we did in our last video, we are going to get rid of this. Oh, sorry, Josh. <laughs> and we're going to work it with our hands. This dough is real nice right now because it's been sitting the whole time we filmed that pork video. And once we start to get it to a nice shape that we like, we are going to, where did we put the rolling pin? This guy is starting to look muy bueno, and I'm really liking this dough, so I'm not actually going to use too much flour. We're almost looking good. At this point, with a little bit of movie magic. Whether I'm done or not in the next two seconds, we'll be over at the stove. All right, back over at the stove. If you remember last time, we heat this sucker up first before we put the oil in. So, we're gonna get it up to temperature. Good. Get a bit more. Get a bit of oil in there. We really wanna work that around. Now the one mistake I made on video with the pulled pork tacos, put a little too much oil. You'll notice that the edges Round up a little bit too much. You want just enough so it doesn't stick. And really, just enough to coat. And so that if you were to flip the pan upside down, you don't actually immediately lose any. It's all stuck. So, let that heat up for a few seconds. Our tortilla. Put it in there, just like so. And remember, just like last time, away from you. And now that she's in there, I'm gonna actually turn it up a little bit more. It may take a bit, but you'll start to notice a few bubbles. Don't know if you can hear that, but you can actually kind of hearing it sizzle. All right, I'm gonna be moving it around, make sure it doesn't uh, stick. Now I kind of screwed up here. I've got a little bit of a hole, you'll notice. And so I'm not going to get as many air pockets there and uh, those nice bubbles and the nice grill marks and char that I would be looking for, but I will still get it, uh, just not as much as I would want in there. So you can see as I kind of tap over here, you can see that's all air under there. You can get, see a jiggle. So in just a moment, I'm going to flip this guy over and I'm going to cook the other side up. The only downside with some of these pans other than like a flat top per se, which I could have used was right here, which I normally would have, 
but um, it's just some of the heat can be very uh, very centered uh, harder to get it around the edges with these bigger pans um, but I wanted to show you guys how to do it in these pans for doing it at home so oh, we got a little bit longer here keep her moving give her a, a rotate Remember guys, the thinner the better, but I'd say we've got a nice looking flour tortilla right there. So we're going to head back over and turn this guy into a brisket, crunch wrap, Dorito, something though supremo. Okay? We'll see you over there. Alright. Tortilla. Cheers. Salsa, so creme, and a brisket. Pretty much all we need. We are going to start by assembling with our cheese on half. And I already lied because that is not all we need because I forgot about the Doritos. Oh, we are going to cheese it on one side. You could cheese all here as well, but when we fold it over, it's just gonna become a mess. I, I like to build it up. We're going to go here, put a bit of salsa, a bit of sour cream, then we're gonna go brisket, and then a bit of salsa, a bit of sour cream, and a bit of cheese on top, and then we're gonna fold it over on top because then we don't need to throw the cheese everywhere. It just doesn't make a mess. That's just my way of doing it. Again, for the Doritos, they're gonna go right in the middle. Right in there for that good crunchiness. So, we got our cheese. We go a bit of salsa here. This is just a, uh, uh, it's a comfort food, so you don't need to go too crazy on the, you know, oh, we gotta be perfect, we gotta be perfect. You know, if everyone was having to be perfect with the meals they were cooking, less people would be cooking. So, get a bit of this everywhere. And, start the shell. Need some brisket in there. Spread that around. All right. Brisket off to the side. Doritos. You can put as many or as little as you want to. I like lots. Come on, be, there we go. Perfect pieces are better because then they're they're literally perfect. So we got our crunch. Now to do it all over again. Look me in the eye. When are you gonna go to Taco Bell and get something that big? Not happening. All that's left, fold this baby over. Give it a nice push. And you can either throw it into an oven, get that cheese nice and melted. You can put it back into a pan. Today, we're gonna use the mini press. Let it sit in there for probably a good 45 seconds to a minute and a half. Um, and then we're gonna pull it out and give it a taste. See you in a sec. So we've got it off the panini press. Now that all we got to do, I'm not even gonna lie, I completely forgot the lettuce before it went on the panini press. I'm a, a noob at this whole YouTube thing, so it's kind of got me off guard. I love lettuce. And then we are going to give this a cut in half. And there's our crunch wrap, brisket, Dorito, every other word that I can think of that rhymes with Dorito. Uh, that's terrible. But anyway, 
that's my take on the crunch wrap. It's got crunch, it's got wrap. I'm not wrong, I know that. So, anyway. Try it out yourselves, make it at home, give it a taste, let me know what you think. If you like this video, do me a favor. Hit the like and subscribe down below. And if you wanna see more, come on back. If you got any ideas, let me know in the comments below. See you next time. Peace.